And here we are finally with the Moonraker Major from 1989, made in Korea set. And uh, if you've been following the other videos, this has been quite a marathon effort. It's been uh, rather played about with in the past with the uh, totally wrong transistor put in the as a transmitter output device. Nothing to do with being a transmitter transistor. And this has blown up quite a few components in that area. Although we got a circuit for the the, uh, the circuit wasn't exactly accurate and uh, it's led to a bit of having to um, replace some components with uh, an educated guest. Anyway, it's working a treat. Very sensitive receiver. Uh, transmitter's doing about 3.8 watts on our test set, which uh, is probably going to be about 5.5 uh, good buddy watts, you know, but uh, this is it. Right, so here we are. We're on channel 19. It's Friday evening at 20 past 8 in the evening. We're 35 miles from the nearest city. And it's not said anything. On our volume, squelch, mic gain, RF gain, delta tune, SWR calibre, because it's got a built in SWR meter, which is quite rare on UK sets. Meter switch from SRF to SWR to calibrate. Then you've got channel 19, channel 9, or normal. 4 watts, 0 0.4 watts public address. Noise blanker and off, tone low. So. What we'll just do is have a flick around the channel. I'll just drop the squelch. Somebody on 19, but it's a long way off. We'll go around again. Somebody on 38, well in the back of the box. Just before I set the camera going, somebody was having a conversation. The other thing it's got, which is quite unusual, it's got the antenna warning indicator light. I've only really seen that on Midland 4001s and the um, Maxcom 30E. Squelch is nice and sensitive. Now I recognise that voice at the back of the box and he's in Leicester and Leicester's 40 something miles away. <laughs> 1919 Roger, anybody out there? One nine Roger, anybody out there? Well, there you have it. Not really very active this evening. The Moonraker Major from 1989.